And now up next, something delicious for the pescatarians out there. Thanks very much to Be Well, a spicy grilled prawn salad. It's ready in minutes and a treat on the taste buds. This is a recipe that just keeps on giving. So stay tuned as we show you how to boost your immunity by eating well and of course enjoying every mouthful at the same time. Nicole, are you ready for this? I'm ready, are you ready? Be well. So well. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, it's a thing now. Be well, summer well. Yeah, we okay. thought it just like like rolls of the tongue. Right, so what do we what do we need for this recipe? So pescatarian, for the viewers that don't know what pescatarian is, it's all um, things fish and seafood. Mm -hmm. So that is what we're including in this. So I just added a beautiful canola oil in here. So mm -hmm. you're gonna always add a little bit of fat when marinating. Okay. So then we don't need to add extra oil on when we yeah it. yeah so rather coat the the actual meat or the actual seafood that you're cooking instead yeah. of the pan exactly otherwise the the oil goes at the bottom of your griddle mm -hmm. and if you especially if you're going to do this at the braai it's essential to put your oil on your meat or yes. on your protein okay yeah. okay so we've got a little bit of chili we've got loads of garlic i mean what is seafood without garlic, garlic yes. garam masala mm -hmm. we've got a bit of turmeric yeah. we've got a little bit of coriander Okay. and uh, just a little splash of lemon juice going in here. You know what, I love the fact that you're doing it this way because people inevitably end up squeezing half a lemon onto their fish or to their prawns in order to kind of boost the flavors of, of yeah. that seafood. Now that you're doing it this way, it's gonna be almost, like the flavor is gonna be infused into the exactly. meat of the, of the prawn as well. And also the, the lemon juice also like slightly cooks it and like yes. marinates it, so it also doesn't need too long on your heat. Yeah, opens up those fibers a little bit more, tenderizes it almost. Yeah, so our base of our marinade is gonna be a little bit of their mayonnaise. We've got the tangy one, because I mean, I feel like tangy and seafood mm. really do go well together. Yeah. So you're just gonna mix this all up. Like a tartar sauce almost. Yeah, yeah, you could yeah. say tartar, but, but this is more like a, a Eastern spicy mm. type of one. Okay. So we've got some prawns in here. I'm not going to do too many because I've cooked most of them. You can never have too many prawns. Oh, I know, just, right? By the way. So these ones, I've just taken the shell off the the tail and I've deveined them, which means you take the little datum pea. And it ve uh, it's like it's digestive. Track. Yes, yes. You take that out. Is it difficult to do that? No, not at all. Um, I could show you actually. Well, no, I don't have a deveined <laughs> one, but what I could show, like what you do do, is you take your prawn. Mm -hmm. I'll take a cooked one. And you take your skewer like that and you just lift it around up. Around its back. Around its back it. and you yeah. lift it and you'll see it comes straight out. Okay, okay. That's yeah. how you devein a prawn. Yeah. And then you've also removed the shell so that the marinade actually gets right into the prawn meat mm -hmm. and not onto the hard shell outside because then you would have wasted it, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. You yeah. And also you don't you don't want to bite into that and it's just not pleasant. Yes. So it's just I mean it is edible, but I wouldn't say it's nice to eat. So you're gonna add these either on a skewer mm -hmm. and just to help you bry them better to mm -hmm. maintain more control over your prawns. But I am going to just add them onto my griddle pan just to cook. The prawns cook very quickly, guys. Like, That's the thing, they, they, they must be, um, what is the technique to cooking a prawn perfectly? Because the last thing you want is a dried out prawn. So you want a high heat, which is perfect for a griddle pan or a bry. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you've got a, a hot, hot pan. And then you'll see it starts to change color. It goes like a beautiful pink color like we've got over there mm -hmm. in front of you. So you'll see it goes a beautiful pink color and you'll know it's, it's cooked. So you can also break the skin open and it's nice and white and firm. You don't want it too firm because then it starts to go rubbery and you're actually like chewing on your prawns rather than eating them, if you know what I mean. Absolutely. <laughs> now speaking of the ingredients that we've been using, of course, our Be Well Canola Oil is what we've been using over there. It is mm -hmm. a Cancer Smart Choice. Of course, it has the uh, South African Smart Cancer Choice seal uh, yes. in aiming to reduce the risk factors associated with cancer development. Uh, there as well, you can see it nice and beautiful red and it's got the knife and fork and the heart there. That's what lets you know that it does support good health all around. 100%. So I feel, I always say like when, you, when you're cooking, you always need a, a, a form of fat. So this oil is a great fat to cook with your prawns. So it, it, it also doesn't take on too much flavor. Um, and it's just yeah, such a nice versatile high heat as well. Like we said, the prawns need a high heat to cook. Mm. So then we've got our salad. So we're gonna just assemble. I've got beautiful cars lettuce. You could use iceberg lettuce. I would just shred it beautifully. Mm -hmm. And I've taken my cucumber and you can see I've made Whoa. it into like little strips. All I did was take a peeler. Yes. And then cut it. Okay, so no That's need to go back to our, our knife skills <laughs> <laughs> episode on Facebook 100%. to know how to do that. So a peeler will do the job. Exactly. Just a standard peeler. If you don't have a peeler, then mm. you're going to test out your knife skills, aren't you? <laughs> a little bit of avocado going on here as well. Mm -hmm. And 
I just find that avo is so refreshing on a salad as well. If you don't have avo, it's okay. You don't need to put avo on, but I just feel it really adds a lot of flavor. Yeah. Quick one as well, if you're gonna be doing um, your prawns on a skewer like you've done over here, obviously on a griddle pan like that, it's a bit um, kind of easier, if you will, but if you're gonna be doing it on an open braai, you wanna soak your skewers first in water, right? Yes. So that they don't burn, otherwise... Good, <laughs> good note. So, yes, otherwise you land up with, like, your little stocky on the inside of your prawns and got nothing to grab on. <laughs> so, yes, okay. you do soak them. Um, but on a griddle pan like this, I think it's fine because mm. they cook so quickly. But if you have an open flame and it can catch a light, I mean, they're very thin. Yeah. So, yeah, you don't want that to happen. Wonderful. So you add your prawns on, you can see they've changed beautiful, beautiful colour. Oh, yes. And they've gone nice and pink and, you know, that's all it is. And you're going to add it to your salad. I'll give these a couple more seconds and then you serve it up. Okay, of course, while you do that, if you'd like more delicious and health-conscious recipes, you can, you can head over to bewellfoods.co.za to download your free immune-boosting cookbook. And of course, uh, it shouts all the way out to uh, Be Well and Espresso for once again bringing all of the spice and all that is nice straight into your kitchen. Enjoy it at home, try it out. Uh, send us your pictures. I'm sure you can make it look just as good, if not even better. Visit bewellfoods.co.za to download your free immune-boosting cookbook today. Be well. Love. Food. Life.